local school districts are welcoming students back today. Kansas City, Missouri's Barstow School and Riverside and Jayhawk districts in Kansas all open their doors this morning. For schools that haven't started, there's still quite a bit of unrest over plans to get back to learning. Several people showed up to a rally outside Lee Summit District Headquarters last night saying that they want the kids back in school. This is not a scientific equation, okay? This is an ethical question. Classes in the district start the day after Labor Day, September 8th. Right now, plan is to hold virtual classes for all grades until Jackson County Health Department says it's safe for in-person classes. Some parents and students don't agree with the plan to hold off on classroom learning. I also need that teacher-student connection. It doesn't really help like that school is not opening up. Some places that aren't even essential are opening up, other in schools not. In a statement, a district spokesperson writes in part, we want to be at school in person. We're also committed to our duty to keep students and staff safe and healthy to our greatest ability. The district hopes to make a final decision by Tuesday. We will, of course, keep you posted. Health officials in Clay County, meanwhile, have new guidance for districts when it comes to fall sports. That includes a recommendation to move them to the spring. Another option would require virtual learning for all student athletes playing contact sports and then just moving forward with fall sports as scheduled because of the precautions in place. Members of the Smithville School Board say they'll wait a few more weeks before they make a decision. And when it comes to schools reopening, there's a lot of decisions being made right now. A lot of information changing by the day. We just want to help you sort through it all. We're covering the latest plans and recommendations for schools in our area, on air and online at KNBC.com. As businesses continue to reopen, we are keeping a close eye on coronavirus case numbers in our two states. Kansas has reported 723 cases between Monday and Wednesday. Missouri reports more than 1,200 new cases just yesterday. Positivity rate is still above 10% in both states. Now 10.6 in Missouri, 13.4 in Kansas. And you look at the green line here on the bottom, the national average is much lower at 6.5%. This morning, questions are swirling about a, a big youth wrestling tournament scheduled to take place this weekend at Hyvie Arena over in the West Bottoms. Kansas City, Missouri's health director tells us he may order it to shut down if safety measures aren't properly followed. Rocky Mountain Nationals kick off tomorrow with some 2,500 student wrestlers from 40 states headed to the arena. Dr. Rex Archer says there will be a 2,500 person spectator limit there, hand wipes and sanitizer at every mat table and face mask requirements for everyone. If we knew what we know now when this thing was scheduled, we probably wouldn't be having it at all. Um, but these things get planned months in advance. And while the tournament is technically allowed under the mayor's order, the health department is officially advising against it. Meanwhile, health department is also offering free COVID-19 testing today at Southeast High School on East Meyer. This goes from 9 to 2 or until supplies run out. First come, first serve. This is for anybody who lives in Kansas City, Missouri, Jackson County, or Clay County.